a songwriter myself, an artist myself, and performed myself for many years with massive highs and crushing lows. Um, what occurred to me was that I, as a songwriter, have no place to digitally inscribe my rights into my songs. I've been writing about it for 10 years. This is actually for all media. So any video, any blog, any piece of news, journalism written, are all collaborative multi-party pieces of media. And I call that um, digital rights expression. And what I mean by that is, is that every artist or creator of any kind should be able to digitally inscribe their ownership as a right into their media. Uh, any artist should will have a, a free interface given to them. This is an open source project, a public benefit um, corporation, in which they can literally take a song, put it into this free piece of software, kind of like Slack, kind of like um, uh, like a WhatsApp group. I think it was Mark Andreessen who said, you know, there'll be there'll be people who are told what to do by machines and people who tell machines what to do. And so ultimately, if you're a media creator, your media needs to be able to tell the machine what to do. The ability to alter speech and video is coming upon us to where they give away Lightbird for free. We won't know what's truth or false. But we will have a likelihood of being able to look at the citations and sources, and those cannot be centralized. You can only do that with a decentralized way of working. We are a human system grafting centralized authority into a decentralized world. We can prove who we are in relation to the assets we create. And we can do that via each other. In the same way that Facebook built its graph of humanity, we can build that graph of humanity into a blockchain-based world, but it will be based on what we create our output.